Hey homeschoolers, long time no talk, long time no haul. I've been so busy exercising, losing weight, and most importantly taking care of my family and going to school that I just really haven't not had any time to do any like fun shopping. And so the other day I took some time and I went to my two local Goodwills and also the Salvation Army and I'm going to show you what I found which was some really awesome stuff. Okay, everybody, these are the things that I found at my local Goodwills and also um, the Salvation Army. I spent more than I normally would. I think I spent like $60 on all of this stuff, but the big hunk of that was these, these life packs. This is first grade history and geography. These are from Alpha and Omega Press, math and language arts are kindergarten level. This pack of those two brand new is um, like $60 or oh no I should think it's $100 and this is $66 by itself. I paid $15 for this and $10 each for these two. Um, I had seen them at the Salvation Army several weeks ago. They had this beige tag on them. Uh, I went, I was like eh, $30 and $20 a piece even though that's a good deal is still a little too much. And I went back several weeks later and they were still there and I said, hey, when does this color tag ever go on sale so I could come back? And they said, well, actually it doesn't. What were you looking at? And I showed them and they said, you know what? These have been here several weeks. We'll go ahead and give them to you at the half price. This one's brand new, never opened. These two have not been used. They've been opened, but not used. So all brand new and I'm super excited. All right. Um, a goal for me this summer is to really help my children with money. I thought that this was kind of like an upper level thing and when we talk about the coins, but when we went to the doctor recently, he asked me, asked my daughter, you know, if you had four quarters, how many dollars would you have? And she didn't know, not that we've never talked about it, but she just didn't remember. And so I thought this was a really great realistic poster and, um, I want to get them actual denominations so that they can see, but until then they can look at this. On the back, there's a second poster about telling time, and then I thought that this flag, um, World of Flags, was really cool too. I've got all this space in my homeschool room, and I just have not hung up all these posters. I need to get some sticky stuff. So, anyways, found those. I didn't get too many books. I'm pretty particular about books, most of you know. Boxcar Children number one. This is a five in a row book. I have one copy, but I want to get another one. And by the time my kids are ready, you know, they can help read along or read by themselves. Whisper. I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, but I know that this is also I'm pretty sure part of the five in a row. And I'm trying to collect all of these scholastic biographies. So I was super excited to have found this. Sarah Plain and Tall. I loved this book as a kid and I thought I had it, but I just cannot find it. I can find the other two or three books by um, Patricia McLaughlin, but I couldn't find this one, so I found this and I bought it. Kaya Shows the Way. I try to buy American Girl books whenever I find them, and so we didn't have any Kaya books, so I was happy to find this. A little Usborn book about cats. My oldest daughter, she just really loves cats, and she loves um, nonfiction books, so I got her this. The Little Engine That Could. We've got like um. A, kind of like a remake and like I knew you could or something and but we didn't actually have the original so I was glad to find this. You Are Special by Max Lucado. I think we used to have this but um, we I couldn't find it again and so I had heard really great things so I got this. David Goes to School. We love David Sheen and his books are so fun and we hadn't seen this one before. This is a before five in a row book. We're going on a bear hunt. My kids really love this. So I wanted to be able to share this with a friend. And then the Children's Book of Home and Family. These books by William Bennett. There's several in a series and I hadn't seen this one before. Um, and so for 69 cents, I can say no. They're full of great poems and stories that, and the illustrations are beautiful and they're really neat. Um, he also has like a Children's Book of Virtues. If you've heard of that, it's the same guy. All right, then there was this Logic Links book. It came with the little links here. And then, you know, it says, you know, use two yellow chips, a red chip, orange chip, green chip, blue chip, purple chip, white chip, black chip, and then solve these puzzles. So this was super neat. 
Um, this I thought was so cool, 99 cents. It's called River's Crossing. And what it is, is there's this magnetic board and five little boards and 20 of these little pegs and 40 different images. And your goal is to get this little um, lumberjack from one side of the river to the other without falling into the alligators or whatever peril there is by using all these little pieces. I'm like, this is such an awesome puzzle. I've never seen anything like that. This game is called Quarto and I've never seen anything like this. But I love wooden toys and I love things. And the goal of this is um, they all have each of the 16 pieces have four different attributes. The aim is to line up four pieces which share the same attributes. So they might all be red, they might all be short, they might all be tall, they might all be square, they might all be round, something like that. So I was like, that's so cool. Mancala. This is a game I used to play when I was a kid in my gifted program at school. It's for ages four to adult, which it's totally my kids' age range, and I thought they would super think that the um, little colored beads were pretty. Well, I've seen Smockety Fox play this with her family. This was 99 cents, and so we love games. I thought that'd be so much fun. If you have not played this game, you are totally missing out on a great time with your family. Um, got this for 99 cents also. Now our family from out of town doesn't have to bring it whenever they come. Division flashcards were not quite there yet, but these are self-correcting and they were 99 cents. Subtraction, we're definitely ready for those. I wish I had gone addition also. Oop, hope for more books. Sammy the Seal. I don't ever remember seeing this. I know I don't have it. I love Danny the Dinosaur, so I got that. And then what your second grader needs to know, I have kindergarten and I think I have first grades and I've got second. And then two more things. Is that her new clothes? This is a baby doll that's very similar to a doll my older daughter has. It's an older version of this Mattel little mommy doll, and I got it for my younger daughter. She needs to get a bath, but they fight over the older one a lot. And then the last thing was this for $3 because it was half price. I got this Where did you find Donut I Maker. I got it at the Goodwill. I saw a recipe oh. recently for grain-free donuts and I just thought that would be such a neat treat for my family and my kids would really think this was fun. So for $3, totally. So that's my find. That's my big haul. It's the biggest one I've had in a really long time. And I think I found some great things. So I hope you found some stuff that um, looks interesting and maybe you guys can find it and I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye.